Oh, wow. Hey everybody, I'm Psychroclasm, and welcome to Three Holy Games. Today we're going to be looking at three games made for the Brackey's Game Jam. The theme this time was Holes. Today we're playing Anti-Golf. Now this was made for the Brackey's Game Jam and the theme was Holes, and it seems like just about everybody had to make some sort of golf game, but this one appealed to me most so far. Oh, there are only eight levels? All right, Anti-Golf 101. The goal of Anti-Golf is very simple. Do not get the ball in the hole. If you keep the ball out of the hole until the timer stops, you win. As you hit the ball, you will eventually run out of strokes. Click and drag the mouse to hit the golf ball. The further away you release your mouse, the more powerful the shot. Are you ready? Here's an easy one. All right. <laughs> this isn't what drew me to the game. <laughs> Great job on the first level. Now give this one a shot. I'm thinking this is gonna be what, yep. In Soviet Russia, hole find you! Yes! Hole in none. As you can see, some holes will come towards your golf ball. They'll keep trying to move towards you even if they get stuck behind an obstacle. Only holes can pass through dark obstacles. So... Oh. I see, all I had to do was just move out of the fucking way. No. Yes! Haha, <laughs> too late, motherfucker! Okay. This looks really easy. Oh no! Oh, I ran out of strokes! God damn it! Oh, I see! It's a puzzle! Hang on. See, this is what drew me to it. It's a puzzle game with holes. Some walls are transparent and anything can pass through them until you hit a button. If you shoot the ball in the same direction twice, it'll move faster. Okay. Oh, one shot. Yes. Okay, it can pass through black things, but not this. So I've got to get over there. Eh. Eh. I thought I had to persuade it to stay in one place, but that works. Holes aren't the only t holes aren't the only ones who can take advantage of the dark blocks. Homing holes don't rotate instantly. What? Oh, I know what this one is. Oh shit! I know what this one is. Ah. You'll see what I'm trying to do in half a second. Yeah, fuck you. Yes. Wait. So there's two buttons. I see. Ah, damn it. I was almost there. This one's super simple. It's just a matter of getting it right. Oh no! I almost had it. Ah! 
Ah, damn. That's the closest I've come so far. Yes. I knew it was going to be too short. More levels coming soon. Okay, that was anti-golf. Uh, huge props for the music. The music's amazing. Um, good gameplay. I liked it. Moving on to the next one. This is Colorful Void. Strangely enough, it was made by the developer of Forgiveness, an escape room game I played a while back. I'm really interested to see their take on a holes. Oh, it's just the, oh, oh my God, it's first person. Oh boy, I didn't know that. I thought I was gonna be guiding a thing through the endless holes. Okay, oh God, good music again. Oh, this is different. Holy Jesus. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, I looked at the Ichio comments <laughs> before I started playing. The points record is like 3,000 something. I just saw how slowly the counter's ticking up. Honestly, this isn't really stressful. This is just chill as hell. Like if I weren't recording, I'd just sit back and relax and play this shit. Oh, oh no. We don't need to speed up the music. No, thank you. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is do my thing where I'm an asshole and just beat the high score and then move on. <laughs> oh, don't touch the walls, God damn it! Okay, so the record is 3,818. Let's go for a clean 4,000 since we're going that high. I think the thing that's helped me so far is realizing that the squares aren't here for my benefit, they're just here. Like, uh, they give me more points, but they're not arranged in any specific way to prevent me from running into obstacles. They exist where they are, and if you can get them, so be it. I guess that's one of the benefits of an endless game. You kind of don't have to build things around the player. And since everything's randomly generated, it's a new experience every time. Although I don't really appreciate the music speeding up every time because it was very chill before and now it's very stressful. And as I approach 500, I'm already like, can, is 4,000 achievable for me? Oh no, this is bad. Yep. <laughs> the other thing I've come to realize is that I've come into this with a bias, like assuming that I have a body. Like in first person games, you generally assume that there's a body below your head. And it doesn't seem like there is one in this case. Uh, it's just me on the screen, and that's it. And I'm also questioning the value of getting a high score to randomly generate a game, mainly because I don't think I'll be able to do it. Like, if I thought I could do it, I wouldn't question it at all. I'd just be, I'm, I'm the awesomest, and you can all suck because uh, I'm the best at a randomly generated game. Oh man, it was really good again for a second. Like it hit that EDM stage, the music hit that EDM stage where it was like really good and like awesome again. Like once the bass comes, like once the bass comes back in, it's always great. Fast fingers, baby. Oh, big old gap, hello. Oh yeah. Oh. This is actually getting more fun to look at at this point. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! This is beautiful! I am immersed. I'm moving my head as if I 
could actually do something with it. Just like when playing racing games. God damn it! Whew. I think the other thing I'm struggling with mostly is establishing a sense of scale. Like, I'm obviously smaller than one of the cubes. But, like, how much... I don't even think that was there a second ago. Like, uh, how much smaller than a cube am I? Um, the thing I've been doing to counteract that is keeping my cursor in the center of the screen since it's not used for the game. So I can say that's where I'm going at a given moment. All right, back to it. Although I really don't think that laser was there when I ran into it a second ago. All right, finally. So not only does the game get much easier when I'm not talking, um, the game seems to also get easier periodically. Like I'm seeing a lot fewer lasers than I did before. So I guess that kind of lends credence to the theory that you shouldn't really gloat about having a high score in a randomly generated game because you could end up like this, just endless easy hallways. And it won't reflect on what the next person who plays has as an experience. Uh, but I do have the high score, I am gloating about it, and what the fuck are you gonna do about it, Scrub Lord? I mean, I guess I can talk again. Uh, the thing that's killed me most, honestly, is invisible lasers. And by invisible lasers, I mean lasers that aren't there, but then they are there. Like, you'll see, eventually, probably, that the lasers cross each other. Oh, there we go. Uh, 5511. You see that the lasers cross each other sometimes, and then they stop each other from emitting. That's not what really happens. They've acted like they come into contact with a solid surface, but they actually haven't. The lasers, if they're crossed with another laser, are still continuing their arc, and you will die, and then after you're on the game over screen, the laser will pop up and say, haha, I was here the entire time. The other problem I've had so far, although it's not like a huge problem because I try to avoid them anyway, the blue boxes uh, tend to disappear be right before you reach them. It's a very strange thing. I've also been eating Jolly Ranchers. They're very delicious. I was going to use them for cotton candy, but uh, tried that out. Got fiberglass. Wasn't great. Also, the fiberglass turned back into a Jolly Rancher while it was in your mouth. Interesting experience. Wouldn't recommend it. 
Weirdly, it's also super easy if you're relaxed. Well, now the lasers aren't doing the thing. They, I swear they did the thing. I've got footage to prove it and I just didn't mark it. Well, that was kind of an example of what I was talking about, except it didn't kill me. Like, sometimes they're emitting, sometimes they're not. And I assume that there are some times when they switch between the two that are so fast that I can't see it. Because, again, I'll die, and then seconds later, the laser will appear on my screen. Alright, I can't find any more examples of it. But, um, good game overall. I think it's really fun to just sit back and play. Like, if I, when I was competing for the high score and... I was all stressed out and talking. Couldn't do anything to save my life. Stopped talking, just tried to play. It's been so easy since then. Like, I've been hitting, you know, multiple thousands of points. Just no problem. It's a lot easier if you can just sit there and play. So I'm going to recommend this to all of you. The last one we're looking at is called Down the Hole, and the description says... What does the description say? Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Which I think is a quote from... Oh, I don't want to... Uh, is it Portal, maybe? Level select. How many levels are there? Oh, okay, that's not that bad, actually. Let's start with level one. Okay, down the hole. Oh, look at this orange colored hole in this blue color. Oh my God. Did not expect, did not expect my man to have gore here. Oh, look, some walls. I don't know how I survived that one. Ooh. Everything's fine. Okay, shouldn't have done that. Oh, shouldn't have done that either. Made it. <laughs> Fall, speed, smash? Oh, I see. <laughs> it shot where I was going to be, not where I was. Eh, made it. Everything's fine. Oh, I didn't have to fall. I didn't have to fall through it fast. I just had to fall through it. Ah. Ah, damn it. Oof. Ah, damn it. Oh, wait. I keep forgetting that I can fall from wherever. Oh, right. Don't want to fall too fast, though. Damn it. Made it. Well, bouncy death doesn't sound to. How did I die? Did I. Do I die from not hitting glass fast enough? That seems like a weird thing. Was I not always supposed to be looking out? Oh. This one's got homing missiles. Oof. Ooch. Owie. I wasn't really sure what happened, honestly. <laughs> Made it. At least the glass stays dead. Come on. Come get me. Oh. We're not. Bye. Okay. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Did... Have I been able to kill these things this entire time? Okay, I guess not. Womp. Oh, that one's clever, actually. So, do I bounce higher if I hit faster? Oh, 
Oh, I do. I do, though. Oh, God. I can kill them. I just have to be at terminal velocity. Oh, wow. And then I can just die from too much speed. <laughs> this is awesome. Too much. Yeah. Oh, that really is the end of it. Why am I? Oh, <laughs> I was like, why am I wearing clothes now? It's like, oh, I'm now chill. Congratulations. That was down the hole. I think it's actually the most popular one in the jam right now. So despite it being short, I think there's a chance it might win, but we shall see. If there are any great games from the jam that you think I missed, let me know down in the comments and there's a chance I might play them later. But until the next video, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around. Bye.